Render passes in Maya. Render passes is the most undocumented thing that I have ever found in Maya. So I'm going to cover those this in a video. Under render settings in 2009, you're going to find this nifty thing called render passes. And I have a few in here. I'm going to delete these out and get rid of them. Okay, so what are they? Well, what you can do here is set up your render passes right inside uh, the software. Under layers, I have this master layer right here. And if I right click on it, I can go add new render pass. And I'm going to just choose a few render passes. One's going to be my ambient occlusion. And so for each one I add, look at it adds it to this list. Uh, another one, I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to say diffuse. I'm going to add a new render pass. And I want, oh, how about specular? That's always a good one. So there's a lot of ones in here. You just got to know which ones that are needed for your scene. About one half of them is useless. So, all right. So here we have diffuse, direct low, incandescent, indirect light. I'm going to try indirect just to see what it is. A few of these I haven't even heard of. How about reflected material color? That's a good one to see what that is. So it can't hurt to have these. And I can show you a very fast way to load these into Photoshop. Yes, Photoshop. We can open these. I'm going to try the camera depth. And I'm going to try this thing called um, beauty. And I know what that is, but I'll get to it. So now I got many, many maps, many maps. Okay. So what I'm going to do is set up this so I can start over because I did this once already. And what will happen is I needed a new project on my desktop. I went through that in the video, how to do that. And anytime you render it, it renders in here. So I'm going to trash these out. And then I'm going to go back to Maya. And a few things that I turned on, I changed that wall color. Okay, so the wall color is on there. And in here, I turned on uh, global illumination just for fun. So global illumination, final gathering, ambient occlusion. Sure, uh, those are all on. And what's nice about this, you can choose your maps after the fact. The renders are all there for you. You can just trash them out of Photoshop. Okay, one last thing I wanted to do. Well, no, okay. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit this. This will batch render all those into that folder. And here is the out queue. So all I do is have to now wait. So in the next video, I'll show you what they look like and how to get them into Photoshop very quickly using CS4.